Hello, I'm Tom Hunter and I'm going to discuss my work to date on my PhD project Data Preparation and Cohort Discovery with AI in a Colon Cancer Data Set. The project is motivated by the recent advancements in AI and increasing availability of medical data, which can be used to address uncertainties in colon cancer patient treatment decision pathways. The volume of health data now available requires new tools for programmatic preparation so that high quality outputs can be achieved from analyses. We have published in our package EHD Prep to address this. Part of the completeness assessment in EHD Prep is the generation of a heat map which clusters values based on their presence in blue or absence in yellow. This reveals patterns of both random and non random missingness in our case study data set CO661 before and after quality control. Here we see a visualization of the functionality in EHD prep for informing if two variable merging operations, A on the left and B on the right, will result in information loss. Operation A is shown to result in information loss as while the mutual information of input 2 with the merged variable is equal to its own information content, the mutual information of input 1 with the merged variable is lower than its own information content. Conversely, merging operation B shows no information loss will, will occur as there is no difference between the, the mutual information and the, with the merge variable and the information content of either input variable. EHST Hub also has functionality for semantic enrichment. The example here shows how five dataset variables in purple are mapped to, into a clinical ontology by the green nodes and that they share the most informative common ancestor of heart disease. With this semantic commonality identified, the values in these variables are aggregated and incorporated into the dataset to enrich it for later analysis. This method is applied to all commonalities identified and in CO661, this method generated over 1500 aggregations. Current work focuses on utilising AI and deep learning to discover new patient subcohorts or phenotypes. We anticipate that phenotypic similarities of subcohorts will correspond to similarity in pathophysiological mechanisms and therefore have reduced molecular heterogeneity, facilitating more accurate outcome predictions. The primary model applied is a variational autoencoder shown on the left which is used to distill the underlying patterns within the cohort. As shown on the right, the latent vectors, uh, represented by Z, are generated from both the tabular and image data for the patients in the CO661 cohort, and will be integrated and clustered to provide more holistic cohorts or phenotypes. We have successfully trained such model on the tabular data of CO661. Cluster analysis shown in this plot identified two distinct patient clusters shown in purple and yellow. Model interpretation is crucial in health data. Here we see a visualization of line feature weights of the cluster assignments for the validation dataset's latent vectors. Line weights indicate the importance or contribution of each feature towards the prediction, in this case cluster assignment, for a specific instance. The y-axis shows the features of the tabular data ranked by mean absolute line weight values. The x-axis represents the corresponding line weights assigned to each feature, and the color of each point is determined by its feature value. Morphological features related to tumor subtyping and differentiation were found to contribute most to the clustering assignment. We have also trained an autoencoder on linked tumour images for CO661. The grid here shows five patches that are considered to be anomalous in column one. In column two, the corresponding anomalous reconstructions are displayed, and pixel-wise error analysis in column three highlights areas where the model's reconstruction is subpar across the colour channels. In tumour slides, Patches of interest related to the disease are often infrequent, making anomaly detection a viable technique for identifying relevant disease-related regions. To 
further enhance performance and capture pertinent features in the latent vectors, a second round of training will be conducted, prioritizing the training on anomalous patches.